Hey guys, welcome to Soccer Gaming, where all soccers can game. If you're not already a part of the community, then hit that red subscribe button to be a part of Soccer Nation. In last week's episode, you saw us beat Missouri. We were able to come away with a win against our rivals. An interception from Daniel sealed away 59 to 52, and it improved our record to 3 and 0. This week we take on TCU, our first Big 12 opponent, and hopefully we can get off to a great Big 12 start with a win at TCU. Huge start to week seven. Not only did last week we beat Missouri, but this week we got a few more commits on our team excited to be Kansas Jayhawks week seven we go on the road for the first time this season we go to TCU who comes in at three and one right now Kirk Herbstreit has us winning we are number nine in the nation three and oh overall TCU three and one looks like TCU has a better overall rating and a better offensive rating but we have a better defensive rating going to the points per game we are number one in the nation after those last two games where they are complete shootouts with 50 points a game 38.8 for TCU TCU so far has beat Arkansas first week then beat FCS second week lost to SMU who is four and oh and then last week they beat Baylor 34 to 21 so it will be probably a shootout between TCU and KU this week TCU coming in at 99 on their offense so their offense is going to be very very good so basically the game is going to come down to whether or not Kansas's defense can cause turnover so far they have done that in every single game and that's been honestly the reason they win is the turnovers it's not because their defense is stopping people and playing well their defense is not playing that great but the turnovers gives the offensive more opportunities to score points which is kansas's best part is probably their offense hi everybody reese davis with you bringing you the ea sports ncaa football 14 pregame show presented by nissan G. Carter Stadium in Fort Worth, Texas, where the fans are going crazy as the players take the field. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 10. In for the corner. Across the 30. Across midfield. And he's brought down at the 40. Fourth and two. Kansas going to try to go for this. We're going to give it up to Mitchell up the middle. And he's got it. And more going into the secondary. Finally taken down after a 16 yard rush. Kick is up. And barely gets over the crossbar. Kansas scoring the first points of the game up 3 to 0. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Oh, get him. The big guy, Tyler Holmes, chasing him down. Oh, Boykin running in for the touchdown. 29 yards on the option. TCU going to take a lead 7-3. to three. All right, third and 11. TCU looking to get something here. The... The screen pass is going to be enough for the first down, and he's still going all the way down to the 15-yard line. 22 yards on third and 11 gives TCU another first down. Boy, again, able to get in again for another rushing touchdown, second of the day, and TCU going to take a 14-3 lead with one minute and three seconds left in the first quarter. And he hits the field to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. Mills able to get around the left side. Pushed out at the 45-yard line. Mitchell with the run in. Kansas finally touched down on the board. Kansas trails 10 to 14. For Robbins or Chase here. Robbins gets it. Another first down for Kansas. Second to six. Ch changing to a running play. Mitchell going to get this one up the middle. And that's going to be another first down. Moving the chains again. Chase or Gallagher. I hit Robinson late. 
Chase is not open. Robinson open late. Ooh, first and goal from the seven after that 17 yard pass and catch. Walk in, touchdown for Deke Mitchell, five yards out. That's going to make the score 17 to 14, Kansas with the three point lead. Third down and 18. Let's see what Kansas can do on defense. TCU draining the clock on third down in case they don't get it. Another sack. Skyler Miles coming up with a huge sack there. Mitchell's going to get the fake handoff here. Robbins going to catch it on the right side. He gets out of bounds after 16 yards. Yeah, I think this will work because it looks like they're in zone, which is exactly what this play's meant for. Oh, he's not going to get it, though. So a timeout called. Five seconds left. Fourth and goal. Going to go ahead and take the points, take the field goal here. So we were able to drive down the field under a minute left and get three on the board. So we go in the half. Winning 20 to 14. Oh, Rogers not able to make the hit. Either is McDonald. Boykin could be gone again, is he? Yes, he is. Third rushing touchdown for Boykin on the day. Absolutely tearing through this Kansas defense. And TCU will take a 21 to 20 lead. Probably going to hit Chase or Gray over here on the right side. If not, maybe Mitchell can beat his man to the left. There it is. Beautiful pass to Chase. First down, KU. Trying to get something going here. Uh, Chase, Gray, Porter. Porter might be our best option here on the right side. Depends what they do on the zone or if they're running man. Looks like they're running man. Porter might be open here. He is. Can he get the first down after the catch? No! Fourth and inches. I think we're going to go for it here. I think we need a touchdown here. TCU's offense is running on all cylinders. So let's go ahead and go for it. Hopefully we can get it here with our running backs. Mills is going to get it. Run into his own guy. He can still get the first down. He does. A first down after a four-yard rush by Albert Mills after running into his own guy. Quick Robbins here. Chase. If not, maybe we can hit Mitchell out of the back. Robbins. Robbins open. Robbins is open. Catch down. Kansas Jayhawks. They're going to go for two here. Let's see if we can make it a 28-21 to 21 game. All right. We're looking Chase. If not, Robbins. If not, Mitchell. It's going to be hard for Chase to hit it right off the beginning. Nope, he's not there. He's not there. He's not there. He's not there. Robbins is. Robbins is. Gets the touchdown and the two-point conversion. Kick is up, and it's good. TCU, 24. Kansas, 28, with 127 left in the third quarter. Up the middle, Deke, wide open. Beautiful throw and catch. Definitely, basically, Robbins or nothing here. Robbins wide open. Get in, big boy. Robbins with his second touchdown of the day. Eric Robbins, a tight end, having a day for himself. Get it, young man. In three minutes, 23 seconds, coming off the clock before Kansas scores, making it 35 to 24 with 5.04 left in the fourth quarter. And there he goes. Aaron Green is gone. A touchdown, TCU. The blitz come up the middle. Was not able to stop him. And just like that, TCU turns it around. 4.33 left in the fourth quarter. TCU kicking off to KU. Mills going to return this one to the right side. Gets a block on the right side. Mills might be gone. Is he? Can he run, outrun everyone else? Yes, he can. And just like that, Mills... The reason he wins the returner of the year last year and the reason he will win it again this year, 105-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Mills is no joke. Possibly the best returner of all time, not even just for Kansas, but for the whole NCAA. And Boykin not able to get away from the defense on this one. The defense reads it well, and fourth and four will bring it down. This may be the last play for TCU today. Fourth and four, going for it on fourth down at TCU 49. Need a first down here. The throw is up, intercepted by Williams. Tyrell Williams with the interception, and that's going to do it. 240 left. You would think that's going to be enough to seal the game. 
player of the game is Deke Mitchell. 18 runs, 100 yards, and two touchdowns. Reggie Robinson throwing for 225 yards, two touchdowns on the day. Deke Mitchell, our player of the game, 18 attempts, 100 yards for him, and two touchdowns. Great day for him. Mills had a bad day comparatively to what he normally does. Eight attempts, 36 yards for him. Receiving Eric Robbins, the star tight end, nine receptions, 89 yards, two touchdowns for him. Chase had four receptions for 45 yards. Going to the defense, Skyler Miles leading the tackling again with 11 solo tackles, 12 total tackles. Tyrell Williams kind of clinching the game with the interception in the fourth quarter, so he gets an interception on the day. Going to the team stats, Kansas had 22, TCU had 10. Total offense, Kansas winning that as well at 373, 148 yards rushing, and TCU had 236 yards rushing, so the most rushing Kansas has given up in a long time. Going to the passing yards, Kansas 225, 117 for TCU. Third down conversion, 54% and 50% respectively. And the turnover margin, again, Kansas winning that with zero turnovers and turning TCU over once with an interception. So Kansas able to win this one, 42-30 over TCU, improving to 4-0 on the year at number 9. They will go on next week to play OU and a big showdown of top 10 opponents. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button. All of the Kansas franchise rebuild will be coming out Saturday morning, so make sure you hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the opportunity to watch KU. Until next time, slacker out.